friends, today I have a bright and colorful page for you brought to you by the Quarantine Scrapbooking Video Hop, which is basically a bunch of amazing ladies who scrapbook about quarantine. So I have my cut file, I believe from Paige Evans. I'm gonna go ahead and fussy blade it out and I'm going to back it onto this white cardstock that I'm going to do a little zigzag stitch on. If you're curious about what sewing machine I have, I will be sure to link it below. So from this point, I am pulling out my Vicky Booten art crayons and I'm gonna go ahead and do the smushing technique. I wanna mimic the stripes from the background paper and it's a little bit challenging to only get it within the stripe, but I somehow managed to do it. I will say that I did find it helpful to use a little bit less water, but because of that, I had to go over the same spot a couple of times, but it wasn't too bad. Before I started with my mixed media, I did lightly outline my cut file just so I had a general idea as to where I wanted paint and where I did not because sometimes I have a habit of going a little bit overboard. I really love these Vicky Booten art crayons because they're so versatile. You can use them in a bunch of different ways. If you haven't used them before, I would definitely recommend looking up Vicky Booten in all of her wonderful art tutorials on how to use her art crayons. The only con is that I wish they came in more colors. There are three packs, but I feel like two packs I really use a lot of the crayons from, and one pack just never gets used because they're just, you know, white and black and some weird shade of brown and a weird shade of olive and just colors that one wouldn't typically use. I will be sure to link those along with everything that I used in this video below for your reference. Oh, for the stripe that I'm on, I did have to mix two colors. I did one line of orange and two lines of red, and that got me pretty close to the background stripe color, so I was pretty proud of myself for that, some impromptu color mixing. And I went over the blue stripe one more time just because I wasn't completely satisfied with how it turned out. So while that's drying, I'll go ahead and do the final red stripe and move on to the other elements of my paint. You didn't see earlier, but along with the Scrap Happy Cut file, I also cut some text, and if you are curious as to the font that I used, it is Babette, B-A-B-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, and that is on my Cricut. As part of my quarantine ventures, I recently started art journaling, so I did invest in a small supply of varied Posca paint markers. So thankfully I had those to color my title with because I didn't want to leave it white because my background was white so it would be virtually invisible. Now I have two photos, one is horizontal, one's vertical, so I decide to leave it right there, just a little bit tilted and angled. It is slightly off balance right now, my page, but I'm thinking of sneaking in some journaling in the bottom left hand corner to kind of even that out. Now to glue down my quarantine title, I am using my trusty glossy accents. It's a great glue, it's got a great hold, but the only negative that I have found is that the glue tends to dry very easily in the nozzle, and sometimes I have to stick a needle down there to clear the snout, the snout, the snout, the spout, <laughs> the nozzle. <laughs> Anyways, one of my favorite things to do with rainbow layout pages is to pick embellishments that match the colors more or less. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm adding some foam adhesive to some elements and not to others. Uh, if it's a chipboard sticker, I just leave it by itself. But if it's a little banner or some text, I will lift it just slightly. Now this video hop is all about quarantine. For me personally, this page is about how quarantine has given me the time that I've always wanted to dedicate to scrapbooking. I've been very busy doing it and I've been very happy with what I've been able to achieve in said time. So I'm just outlining my photos here with my pen. I'm gonna add a few finishing touches, including the journaling and my date stamp. And we're nearing the end. So I'll show you the finished page. 
I really hope you enjoyed this video. This is definitely a unique video hop concept that I was very happy to be a part of, very appreciative. Go ahead and check the other ladies below and see what they created. Otherwise, thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you next time. Have a beautiful day.